Live vlog, so here's the opener. <laughs> New shirt! Wearing this at the gym tomorrow. I don't care. Wearing this at the gym tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's gonna... That's, uh... An interesting choice for a shirt for the gym, but... What was there to talk about? What was there to talk about? Uh, random things. So let's talk about, um, okay, so I was supposed to do a New Year's, uh, vlog last week. Didn't happen because I was sick. Really sick. Uh, way too sick. I tried everything. I've tried all these different ideas. So I was like, all right, okay, okay. Uh, Friday, Friday, I felt sick. Like, woke up Friday and like, oh, F, it's six in the morning. I gotta go to work. And I'm feeling the sickness. I'm gonna go to work. I'm just, I'm just not great. And everyone could tell, like, jeez, you look like shit. It's like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, guess who to blame? Because I got it from work, because my boss was sick. And before that, another coworker was sick. And before that, uh, the other boss was sick. And before that, and before that. So, it's just, the strain was just going through everyone at work eventually, and now it got to me. And as far as I know, I'm the last one to get sick, so should be no one else my boss is still sick he's on antibiotics uh yes i was down with the sickness yeah that's what happened there so my boss makes about a hundred thousand a year but if there's a chance to make money he gonna make money and uh somebody and he has a bunch of tools and everything he's a very handsy guy somebody paid him to cut down their their tank like a water tank like just this big old metal water tank like maybe 10 feet tall and a bunch of feet wide kind of thing and he's just cutting it and everything and he's doing this while sick and so it was raining so he was wet and sick and soggy and just all that stuff obviously it ain't gonna go well obviously not gonna go well right there so he's so sick he's got pneumonia and bronchitis and they got him on antibiotics and he just finished it all and he still is sick so he better take more because I'm not looking to get up to his position just yet, so he better stay alive for a little bit longer. He's also bought a motorcycle, and oh, no, he just he just got his license for a motorcycle. So I'm like, you can just hold off for a couple of years. I need a couple of years to get my light to get my degree so that I can take your job. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's younger than me by a year, by the way. You know how weird that is to have a boss younger than you. He's smart though. He he knows what the hell he's doing. He knows how to talk. He know, he's just smart. He's a smart guy. Sometimes dip, just like any of us can be. We can be very smart. We can also be a dipstick at times. That's just how it is. But for the most part, he's a very intelligent fellow. I respect him a lot. Uh, but he can do some of the... He, he's white. What do you want? He's got the, he's got the white fearlessness. It's not racial if it's true. Uh, he's, he's got that whole... like He'll just do silly things that could get him killed just because it's fun. And you just... Yeah, that's that sounds about white. That's just how it be, because damn nature, you scared everybody but him. <laughs> I, you've seen the, you've seen those videos of people do backflips in place off a sheer cliff that will kill them if they f it up. You only see white people do that. I'm not trying to be racial, but you only see white people do that, and it's a weird fear. It's a weird fear because, um. Only white people do also the dumb things. I will say it that way, because there is that joke, before you ask, yes, they are. And that is at that expense. Because, uh, what's that story? The story is, uh, someone's working at Olive Garden, and a customer's like, I want a, I want a salad with no vegetables. Like, you, a salad with no ve- uh, I, okay. So they bring back a salad with... With just like, like just, I can't be like, just like the cheese for a salad or like, that's it. Like, what can you bring from a salad that has vegetable that has no vegetables, right? And she gives them crap by saying, like, where's the tomatoes? It's like, that's a vegetable. It's like, no, that's a fruit. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. And then at the end of the story, they say, and before you ask, yes, she was. And that is saying, before you ask, yes, that's a white person, because that's what happens. Today, here's something that happened, which blew my mind. I saw a mother and daughter, and daughter's about older teen, and the mother's like, whatever. You, it's obviously mother-daughter. And I kept seeing them, because I'm over at the bank, and I'm just watching this through the window. 
And it, they're in a parking lot. Like, there's a parking lot, all the parking, and then there's, like, the throughway, and then more parking kind of thing. And they kept going across the street. They just kept going, like, not a, it's not actually a street, but they're just going, going across the, the drive through area of a parking lot. And they kept trying to get hit, basically. And what would happen was, when I got outside, I saw, uh, I, I watched a little bit longer, and here's what was happening was, they were purposely getting in front of cars, and seeing if the cars would stop. Like, if they would stop with a wide berth, or if they would just, like, just very closely almost get them, or the cars would just go around, kind of thing. I just watched this. And when the car stopped, they, they would go to the car and go like, you're the first car to stop! Uh, for, for people to go by, thank you, thank you very much, and then they would just do this bullshit again. And if people just stopped really suddenly, they would just be yelling at them, being really mad. Also, when cars went around them, they'd be on them and everything. And I'm like, what the f- what are you, what are you doing? Like, I yelled, like, what the hell? And they're like, we're doing our civic duty! We're doing our civic duty. I blue screened. I'm like, what the fuck? What? I'm getting the fuck out. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I go to my car. I'm like, what? And I just go to my car and get out. I'm like, do you call the cops on that? Like, what, what can you do? I'm like, someone's going to get hit. And I'm going to assume legally the driver shouldn't get in trouble for that. Right? Like, yeah, a psychological test? Oh, God, that'd be bad. Like, c can you call a cop on that? Also, if they get hit, the b driver better not get in trouble. Like, we're in a parking lot. Like, you, I, the cars should just always have the right of way. You're never going to get in a situation where you're never going to be able to cross. You just have to wait for the cars, and then you get to go. That's it. How crazy that is! Like no one else is gonna do that. Nobody. I'm not gonna do that. I don't know any of my family who's gonna do that. Who's gonna tempt fate? The vehicles are quite deadly. I'm gonna do that. No, 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 no. Not at all. Not at all. Oh, the Australian Prime Minister. Oh God. Yeah, Australia's still on fire. Oh, here's okay. I I hate. All the fake news that keeps happening, and I really wish there was better punishment for that. Uh, it's been a crazy week, of course. The Australia fire has been going for six months, so that's not a crazy week. But um, all, like when the when the rain happened, and then people were like, "Hey, look, a bunch of rains happened! Isn't that awesome?" And everything. And it's like, oh, all this rain footage was from November. It's like, what are you doing? What are you What are you doing? Giving people false hope about the rains? What are you doing with that? Uh, the Iran missile attack on the Iraqi bases, the American Iraqi bases, what happened there? 20 minutes after that's happening, some guy goes up and says he's got information, and there's 20 dead Americans, and all this stuff. And he's like, no, 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 no. You can't believe any of that. You can't believe any of that because there's no way anyone's going to give you that information that soon after an attack because it's happening. They need to assess damage, they need to check bodies, all that kind of thing is going on there. They need to check all that stuff. You're not gonna no one's gonna get a real number that fast. No one's gonna get a real report that fast. And this fake news was blown up. Tons of people were reacting to it. Tons of people were flipping out. And you know what that does? That's cry wolf every time. What it does is it lessens the blow when the real thing potentially could happen. If a real attack happens and we lose a ton of soldiers, it'll lessen compared because of people thought this was real, but it's not. And now a part of them is like, is this real or not? Kind of thing. That's not a good. That's not a good at all. Make matters worse is the, the Boeing. Uh, was it a Boeing? The plane. The plane that got shot down. Everyone's saying it looked, the evidence says it looks like it got shot down. And that's what's happening right now. And the reasoning for that is. Uh, Iran was on high alert, and these planes are going through high, what's the word here, um, military areas, but they're flying over them, and usually they don't get shot down because, well, bases aren't usually at high alert. But guess what's on high alert right now? Iran is at high alert right now. 
So the the most likelihood is one went off and got the plane. That's what everyone's thinking right now. That could be the the if the, the the truth could be different later. But right now, that's what people think it is. But it's not just this. This, this is what we think it is right now. That's the best way to put it. Is this is what we currently think it is? We'll see if that's the truth later on. Is it just go like, oh my god, I ran shot down the plane and everything like this and that? The best way to put it is, this is what we have for now. We'll see when more investigation happens. Kind of situation. And too much is happening. You still got the impeachment happening with Trump. And you learned way too... You learned how way too many people don't understand how impeachment works. That's what you learned. We, we all learned that very much. Is What's funny is... People... I keep hearing people saying, like, looks like a lot of people fa failed their civics class in high school. I never had a civics class in high school. I don't actually know anyone who's had a civics class in high school. All my civics I learned was in college. I learned all my political stuff in college. That's when I learned all that stuff. So what are we talking about civics class in high school? I'm in California where they're high up about that crap. And no, they didn't do that here. They didn't do it here at all. So I don't know what people are talking about. I want a civics class in high school. Like, senior year should be preparing kids. Because it don't. Senior year should be teaching taxes. It should, like, home ec should be coming back and be real instead of the joke everyone makes it to be. Like, home ec, home ec and shop should be real, at least in high, at least senior year. Everyone should know how to do a little bit with their damn car. At least change a damn tire. That should be on the final. Everyone should know how taxes work, how the tax brackets work. That'd be very helpful. How loans work. You know how much better student loans would be in, for college if students understood that crap? They would get way better loans. They wouldn't get some really crap loans that they get. I have a crap loan that was $5,000 when I got it, and it went up to $15,000 because I didn't understand how loans work. Nobody explained how loans work to me. And so that went very badly. I would like it if people learned how loans work. I would like it if I learned how loans work. That's what I get for not understanding loans. And all I can really blame is, well, the loan people, because that is just effed up to do to somebody, but also just the system and that it failed and that we should learn that stuff. And really, HOMAC, it, why, why shouldn't we teach people basic cooking instead of making it because the problem is the joke was home ec is housewife training, which it shouldn't be. It should be learning how to just take care of yourself. Learning how to do laundry, because I know people who don't know how to do laundry, which makes no sense. Knowing how to do laundry, how to just cook basic food. Just understanding a kitchen. Again, I don't know how people don't know how to do cooking. Just basic stuff. Budgeting would be amazing. Teaching, stu teaching kids how budgeting works would be great. There are just things that would be very useful to learn as you're about to enter adulthood or go to college. Like, I'm t probably not. Mm, how, how's my budgeting? Okay, Skype has three things he uses his money on. Frivolous purchases, um, student loans, and then the money's there in case I need it. And, and of course, uh, rent. There's rent and bills and all that. So I guess those are all things to spend my money on. Spending money on bills and rent, and I don't even count that. That just happens, and then whatever the rest of my money is, I think of that the next thing. So bills and rent, and then I guess loans goes with that too. So all that money goes the way to that. And then there's whatever extra I have, and then there's like little things I buy. So like I'm buying Kirby's, like at least get like a Kirby or so and every now and then, because that's like that's me buying something for myself. Also buying games. That's me buying something for myself. The giveaways are a frivolous purchase. <laughs> frivolous meaning like this is money that doesn't matter. This is money I put to the side that I can do whatever I want with it. That's what frivolous purchase. That's what I call that. I can do whatever I want. If I want to do a giveaway, I do that. I want to buy a game for myself, I do that. I want to buy a Kirby, I do that. That's what that money is. And then there's just then there's that little bit of just in case money. And then I have some, like, money going to retirement. That's where all my money goes. Oh, God. Understanding nutrition would be a great high school class. Like, high school is supposed to prepare you for the next thing. College doesn't prepare you for the next thing. College is kind of trade school. So, 
Honestly, high school, your senior year should be preparing you for whatever the hell happens next. Whether you go to college or not, it should be preparing you for the working world. You should learn how to make a resume and a cover letter in high school. And I did learn that at least in high school. Poorly, very poorly, but I did learn that in high school. You had to do those uh, for, for the writing class at least. But it should be preparing you. And I don't, I never feel like it, it did for me. I don't think it prepared me at all. I know random history, which is, it's good to know history so you don't do and repeat it. Yeah, fine, okay. Math, yes, that's also important. Math does happen every, everywhere. Important to know. Writing's extremely important. You don't want to sound like an idiot. Uh, what other classes are there? Like science, chemistry, you should learn all these basic things. That's good to know a basic understanding of how the world works, because you don't want to be an ignorant idiot. But... <sighs> There should be a curriculum for your high, for your senior year just preparing you for the world. Helping you understand, like I already said, all those things already. But to reiterate, loans, a better understanding of politics, budgeting, just being able to take care of yourself at home. Like laundry, cooking, uh, maybe just a basic idea of plumbing, just to a degree. Uh, at least knowing how to change a tire, I think that, the very least, you should learn how to do. How to change a tire. You don't need to know how to do a tune-up, though, that's helpful. You don't need to know how to do an oil change, though, that's helpful. You can just pay for those, whatever. Those are things you can do yourself easily. Everything else will also change the air filter. After that, everything else, you should probably just let a professional do it. You can do it yourself if you want, but I'd say just let a professional deal with anything else beyond that point. For me, a really good class, well, it was in college, but a really good class was a statistics class because it taught you to just identify bullshit. Some sort of class that just teaches you how to identify bullshit would be nice. I don't know, like, understanding how fake news works and all that would be great. At least a healthy skepticism. But that's maybe a little too innocuous, is that the right word, or nebulous? To be a class? But just be better prepared. And to be, have a better identifier of bullshit, I think. It's not bad to have faith, but it's it's important to have uh, well-informed faith in things. Yeah, skepticism is healthy. There's a difference between skepticism and cynicism. Cynicism can go fuck itself. I meant to not say the F word, but I still said it anyway because I hate cynicism. Too much cynicism is poisonous because it makes you just worthless, in my opinion. You just If you don't believe in anything, then you can't be trusted with anything. There should be some trust. There, I mean, there should be skepticism, but not cynicism. Because it's they're just different things. They're two different things, in my opinion. Because um, skepticism is just doing a little... Just making sure. Being a little sure about things. Just making sure that this is true. There's nothing wrong with that. Cynicism is... Is, is just... Is taking skepticism to an extreme to the point it's just not actually helpful. That's the way I see it. Like, there is... Okay, okay. Let's go with uh, someone begging on a street corner. Like, you could be like, I don't actually know if this person really is homeless or not. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. And it's up to you whether you give them money or not. You just think about it. Like, mm, you can be skeptical and you don't give them money. Or I'm like, uh, maybe they really do have... A, maybe they really do need the money you give them money. Cynicism... What cynicism does... Is it just assumes all anyone who bigs, they're all just they're all fake, and there's that. But also, what cynicism also does is give other people crap for giving money to beggars, because what a cynical person will say is, after you give someone maybe twenty bucks to someone you assume is a homeless person, they'll say that's not going to cure homelessness. Yeah, it's not, but it's at least going to ease the burden on this person. Cynicism doesn't believe in easing the burden. It's very weird. Cynicism is all about. Is, is like an all or nothing situ feeling, and it's not okay. Because what cynicism does is like, that, that's, it really is just all or nothing, because it's, cynicism thinks it's smart. That's the real thing. Cynicism is smug, and it thinks it's smarter than the other person. And that's probably why I don't like it very much. We know who Scarf is. Scarf is a Care Bear. And that is something people are like, oh, you're a freaking Care Bear. Like, playing games... Like, oh, you're a Care Bear because you care about other players. Like, oh, woe is me that I care about other humanity. Like, oh, woe is me for caring about other people having a fun time with this game. Oh, woe is me 
that I'm not some cold, heartless bitch. Like, come on, are you kidding me? I got no problem caring about the enjoyment of other people. Because what am I? I'm an entertainer. I, I don't have the killer instinct. I can't just crush someone. Like, I guess I'm Goku in that way. And that I can't... Well, he does it for a different reason. I will, you'll never have me go 50-0 and 0 on somebody. Like, if I'm doing really well and I'm just going really well, I'll use it up. I'll use up how well I'm rocking them. Like, say, like a fighting game. Like, I could perfect somebody. I will purposely not perfect them. I will make the game go a little bit better for them. I'll, I'll miss some shots. I'll miss some combos and everything. Just so they have some entertainment into the match. I won't just steamroll somebody. Unless they're being crappy. Crash kind of really good at fighting games. So, um, I just don't have the killer instinct where I'll just run someone over and get a perfect on them. I will. I don't perfect people. I'll fight them, and then I'll just flub, and then I'll win eventually. They're still going to lose. <laughs> but they're not going to lose uh, through a run over. I was all over the place with that. Last thing. So, here's something that sucks. I'm really curious what's going to happen here. And there's... And it's just how you treat them. Uh, One Piece movies, uh, their movies are always non-canon. They're always, you know, they just, they're just happening uh, outside of what's happening. That, but it's current with what the show is doing, and there you go. And, yeah, that's fine. The same thing Dragon Ball has done. It's current with what's going on with the story, but it's all non-canon. Then we have what MHA is doing. So, the first MHA movie, the movie happens right around the same time as the anime is happening. Like it happens. Where did it happen? Where did it happen exactly? Like like near the end of two before season three? That's that's where the movie was, right? So if you're an anime watcher, you're pretty good right there. Man, that movie was amazing. I love that movie. The second MHA movie, the new one, BNHA, MHA, whatever you want to call it, the newest one is gonna take place after the current arc of the manga. The manga is about two or three seasons ahead of the anime. So, fuck. So what are you supposed to do? It really sucks. It's Because it's, you can't just be like, it's non -can like Even if it's a non-canon story, it takes place so much deeper into the story. So there's going to be costume changes. There's going to be power changes. Like, Deku just keeps freaking changing. So, crap, I'm not going to be able to see this movie for like three, four years. That sucks. I don't know why they're doing that. It's I assume it's going to do well because it's MHA. But if it does terribly, I assume that will be the assumption made, is because they tried to do something that's way in spoiler territory. Of course, a ton of people are reading the manga, so they're going to have a big following for sure. But if you're anime only, you're screwed on this, and that sucks. It's interesting to see that, and I guess, yeah, where else can they go with a movie right now? They're trying to do another movie because, well, they, they got so much popularity. But you see other movies, usually they try to be in line with where they are in the anime because it's an animation. It's not a manga. It's not a manga movie. It's an animation. So it's so weird what, uh, what they're doing with this movie. And I just can't watch it for three years. Really? Lemillion's fighting the manga's way better than the anime? Oh, shit. I liked it, but mm, if it's even more amazing, shoot. Because just... Well, the Broly movie happens right after Super. And it's canon. That's a trip right now. The Broly movie's canon. It's interesting what movies are canon. Because, you know what else is happening? Demon Slayer has a movie coming out, and that movie is canon. It's interesting seeing movies do canon. I mean, animes do canon movies. Because the Demon Slayer ends where it ends... And then the next arc in the manga is the movie. I'm really interested in seeing that movie. Um, if you've watched the Demon Slayer, if you watch the Demon Slayer anime, in, uh, like halfway through the season, there's those two demons, and one's got the balls, and the other one's got those those things on his hands. And I made the joke, and Jinx hates it so much. Where I said about the guy with the hands, like, that guy's got really good hand-eye coordination. <laughs> yeah, the train arc. Yeah, train arc's gonna be the movie. And I can't wait to see the movie. I like Demon Slayer a lot. I think the complaints about the animation are valid. Because some of the animation... Well, okay, the fire. Every scene with a campfire, that fire is awful. 
this so like the animation with the water breathing is so good. I really like the look of that. That's pretty cool. A lot of scenery looks really good, but yeah, some of the special effects stuff looks really not good. And it's true. It really that's true. But it's pretty good. I like what I see. Uh, Tanjiro is a great character. I think Tanjiro is a character who used to get a lot in anime, and he's finally back. And like this, this archetype of an of character is finally back. Like he's the goodest boy. Tanjiro is the goodest boy. And then he's thrust into such a terrible situation. Like, you don't see that archetype too much anymore. At least I have it in anime. Usually, I say that despite, you know... Okay, Deku's a goodest boy, but he's not killing people. Tanjiro's killing people. Yeah, Tanjiro is a soft, pure boy. Thrust into a very deadly situation. And he deals with it and gets through it. I think Deku would probably get through it too. But they're in two different kind of worlds. Yeah, oh, that's the thing, yeah. Tanjiro really has, he has a big heart. He has a very big heart while also being very deadly. And that's a very interesting, that's what makes him special, I think. Because other characters, usually the arc for a character like Tanjiro would be, they slowly de get dead on the inside and they slowly just, just get normalized with killing. Tanjiro, he's killing, but it still bugs the crap out of him. And I don't expect that ever to change for him. I think that is that's an important character trait for his character. Also, well, we're getting to anime talk. Um, you don't care about anime. This is just gonna be anime for the next little bit before we still. Oh my god, this is a long one. We didn't have a long last week. Um, no, Jinx is not gonna take that. Extent. Not gonna say that. So we'll stop after this because really, this was the last topic I want to talk about anyway. Was this it? Was this the anime movies? But now we're talking about characters. Um, everyone loves Inosuke. Everyone keeps comparing Inosuke to. Um, Kachan, they they keep comparing him to Explode Boy. What's his name right now? I, I'm calling Kachan, but that's not the other. That's not the name everyone calls him. They call him what? Get Bakugo. Yeah, Bakugo. Everyone compares Inosuke to Bakugo. Not the same. Not the same at all. The big difference is, uh, Inosuke is a bigger dipstick. He's a Inosuke is a dumber boy than um, than Bakugo is, but I think Inosuke is not as I don't know. I think I think Inosuke is a bigger idiot. Bakugo's an asshole. Yeah, Inosuke is an idiot. Bakugo's an asshole. That's just the best way to put it. Both of them are narcissistic for different reasons. I still don't see Bakugo as a redeemed character yet, and I'm still waiting for that. Inosuke gets humbled real fast. <laughs> real fast. Like, I've, I've disliked Bakugo for a long time. Inosuke, I disliked him for, like, the first or second episode. Then, then I'm like, oh, okay, he's, he's okay now. Because once Inosuke realizes he's being an a-hole, uh, he stops being an a-hole. <laughs> and he's more just having a rivalry with Tanjiro. Wani Lightning Boy, who I can't remember his name right now, is so awful for so long. It takes a long time for him to get better, and I know everyone loves him, but it takes a long it takes a long time for him to get better. And he's not just ah, uh, what's the great boy's name? What's his name from B MHA? I like we're comparing these two. Like he's better near the end, but he's just terrible most of the time. Mineta, yeah, I assume Man Lightning Boy is Mineta, just like that, but he's not. Thankfully, but he's still not that great. Mineta's way worse than Lightning Boy. But Lightning Boy ain't great. Yeah, I really... You know what it is. Uh, someone show. Someone show. Uh, the dude with those the, with that amazing voice, and he does those amazing vine vines, which they're on YouTube now. Um, he did one where he's talking about how, like, there's always that crappy character at the start who's really whiny and everything, but it can't apparently become amazing three seasons later. He, do, he did a joke on that. He did a skit on that. And people say that for, like, Baku. It's like, yeah, he's really crappy right now, but he'll be amazing later on. And, like, someone was like, I'm still watching MHA, and this I still hate Bakugo, so when's that happening, guys? And Lightning Boy's that character, too. He's super whiny. And I'm going to assume he's going to be better later. By the way, someone shows amazing. He makes amazing stuff. Makes me want to get better at voice stuff. Sucks what's happening with him right now. Oh, random thing. So me and Jinx are working on uh, Gundam Wing... A bridge, sort of. Right now we're re researching. So we're watching the original Gundam anime. And original Gundam is amazing in so many ways. It has got some really great moments. The, this is 1980. This is one of like the early anime. 
And so it's got some amazing moments. It's got some really bad moments, too. And there are some things we're going to take from that anime that is going to be in the abridged, and I can't wait for that. And the reason we're watching it is because Zex Marquis is just Char all over again with a couple differences. And that's because Gundam Wing is the original Gundam with this, with a couple differences. Like, they don't do Journey to Jabra, but they do a bunch of other things that are the same thing. Gundam Seed is Journey to Jabra all over again, but with more, more uh, fan service. Way more fan service. So, right now we're watching the original Gundam, and we'll probably watch all the way to Char's Counter-Attack, because that's the end of the original Gundam. And then we'll rewatch Wing. So we're watching a lot of a lot of Gundam anime. And I think that's all we really need. And then maybe we can look at summaries of the other Char clones besides Zex. I don't think we're gonna watch Seed. Um Seed was like was the trendy thing in like 2000 what? I don't don't remember anymore. Are we kidding? No, we're not gonna see Seed. We don't need to see Seed. I Jinx will not watch G Gundam though, because G Gundam's too silly. G Gundam is ridiculous. I might watch G Gundam again at some point because G Gundam's insane. If you've never seen G Gundam, watch G Gundam. If you want to watch the complete antithesis of what Gundam usually is, you watch G Gundam. Because Gundam is usually the horrors of war or just war tactics and all this stuff or mercenaries with Iron Blood orphans, whatever. And it's very serious with some jokes here and there. G Gundam is over the top as balls. It is, if WWE made an anime, that's what G Gundam is. It is the opposite of Gundam. It's amazing. So that's the vlog. That's the end of the vlog right there. So we are putting the groundwork for the abridged wing, but who knows how long it'll take for that to happen. And got to brush up my voices and everything. Live of Streams 2 is going to be the new LP. And we're going to be doing single LPs. While we're going to have side channel LPs as well. Side channel LP is going to be like um shadow war and things like that life is strange 2 is pretty interesting um it doesn't beat one at the moment i'm really curious if it'll beat one it's hard to beat an original you know but two's got some interesting stuff to it but that right there is the vlog this was a very long vlog jinx is going to be unhappy with me uh but that right there is the vlog i had fun talking hope him watching and listening and that's what it's all about having fun thanks come by and see you next time <laughs>